Hi guys, welcome back to my All Stars 4 Toot and Boot series and this is the final Toot and Boot episode for this All Stars 4 series because we are looking at the finale looks from the Super Queen performance and the finale Eleganza runway looks. So without any further ado, let's crack on with the tooting and booting. Oh, Ding! So starting with the Super Queen performance, we have Monet Exchange and she came out right at the start in the chair rotating round looking like the boss in the chair of like the alien corporation in space the super queen with no hair which is a really bold move haha <laughs> get it puns but actually i think it looks really really nice it is a cute look i love the mix of the colors just red and gold it's very like alien kind of like what you'd expect from maybe like the martian alien runway from season 10 it's a good look it's nothing too wow out there crazy but I do like it and it gets the job done for a super queen and like I say, I actually like that she went bald on this one. So I think this is really, really cute and it's a toot. Next up, Monique Hart. And she has her black cape flowiness going on right now. She was doing hair flips and everything and like, I don't know, I just live for her performance. But I really, really, really like this look. Like, you know, I'm not like a big fan of some of her looks and then other times she does incredible looks. This is a really good look. I love the ginger hair, the right sort of like quiffy sort of bit at the front. The length is perfect to give it enough hairography, but not too much to get in the way. The cape sold incredibly. The boots, uh, it's like see-through as well. Like I love like the shining sort of details on the actual body sort of corset with the long arms. It's a really cute look, very, very impressed with her performance and this look, so this is a toot. What's on the menu? Alien PVC bodysuit legs. Oh, cloop. Like, this is a really cool look, especially something like you would just sort of, it just fits so well for Naomi Smalls for like an alien super queen look because it just literally looks like it's from a comic book. Her legs, incredible, and her body, like, it's just so like, She's just so tall and skinny and it works so well. I love the mix of colours actually like orange and blue. It's a cute sort of stiletto but obviously she had to dance in those and then she's got like the cool sort of shades which give it that sort of superhero alien vibe and then the blue hair. Like she was serving legs on this performance and this is a toot. Next up Trinity the Tuck and this is my favourite look from the Super Queen performance because she is given absolute superhero, super queen alien vibe and she knows how to do that especially with her new music videos so she is absolutely serving it with the silver and then the shimmering oh i live i live oh my god girl and those boots oh my god it's the same sort of pattern material color and it's like I, oh my god and her tuck look just incredibleness the headpiece is cool and then she's got like the sort of cuffs which give it that sort of superhero vibe and then she was put the cape on and swirled it around and it's like you could just see like this is the winner she is so incredible like serving superhero realness and I live and I love her performance and this was a shoot for me because it is serving superhero super queen realness as instructed to a T the T the Trinity the Tuck so moving on to the finale eleganza runway, first up we have Monet Exchange, the crowned winner, girl, I'm actually so, so proud and so happy for her because she has done incredibly well from season 10 and maybe she wouldn't have been my first original winner, obviously Manila, I really, really thought Valentina would have done much better this season and Latrice, so you really can't tell and she has done well. She's won some challenges, incredible looks, so much better than season 10. So that's my opinion on that. I think she is a deserving winner, especially from the finale episode. She was definitely the top two best performances. So this look is her finale look and it is a really, really nice look given absolute elegance and gorgeousness because she has definitely stepped her looks up for All Stars compared to season 10 but some of the looks were still a bit mm, whereas this is a good look, just not wow incredible. What I really, really like about it is the hair. It's so like intricate, like crazy, like tied up dreadlocks. I, I think it's actually a really cool look, especially because she's always sort of slated for her wigs on season 10 and then definitely stepped it up for All Stars 4 so much more with the hairs and given a lot of variety in her hair look so I'm actually really impressed. It is just absolutely, the colour is like, like purple and turquoise, like it is such a cool 
colour and fit and she sold it walking down the runway looking absolutely gorgeous so this is a really really nice look and it's a toot. Next up Monique Hart's final look and she came out in all black with a little fringy sort of diamond triangle shapes and the gloves and the long flowy bit and it's really really nice I like the hair on her she does look really nice and obviously in all black it looks nice like I like a lot of black like jet black all the way through but it kind of did get a bit slated on the runway from Michelle and the judges because it wasn't like it kind of like lost the element with the gloves and stuff and it sort of made her shape go away a little bit so I can understand that I do actually prefer her look from the Super Queen performance so this is a good look but maybe not like full on finale worthy especially because she's turned some incredible looks like the brown cow stunning and the puss and boots look like seriously so it's a good look it's just a bit not fully there kind of thing so I'm gonna have to give this I think I'm gonna give this a newt Next up we have Naomi Small's purple ruffle dress with the ruffle arms and then the sort of netting see-through arms and head and then the cute little hat. It is given absolute realness. I I don't know, I just I live like because she does a lot of serving legs type looks and obviously she did the reveal taking the bottom part off and showing legs which was incredible. It showed that she could give this sort of like bo peep silhouette first and then show off the legs because I actually think it was actually a smart move to do a reveal because reveals are kind of being done a lot but she's done it a lot on the runway so it's kind of sticking to her brand and wow and us and gagging us because it was kind of unexpected but then you were like oh where's the legs and then there they were. So it is a really cute look I wouldn't have necessarily thought maybe it would be for her finale look but it is good and it sticks to her brand with the legs so it is a cute look and it is a toot. And finally we have the crowned queen winner as well, Trinity the Tuck serving the tea in this pageant elegant tea cup patterned dress with the shape and the body and the, oh my god, the train, like seriously, absolutely, I was gagged, wowed and it is stunning and I'm so, so impressed. This is a shoot and she had the little sort of tea cup reveal which was cute as well and then the hair is actually really nice hair like a brown sort of like auburny colour with the earrings and showing off her top half and the arms it is actually it's so so different and I really really live for this look and I'm so impressed and so proud of her and her body is just snatched and gorgeous and incredible oh cool. shoot and of course we have a double winner so here is the crowned looks with Monet wearing her runway look and Trinity is wearing like a different sort of look but you can't really see it so it's a cute look the pose and everything both of them just sitting there with a crown and scepter it's so so I'm so happy for them it is what it is maybe it's not fully right for who you thought would win and I really thought Trinity would take it over Monet but I'm so glad and happy for them that they both got it anyway so it is what it is and it's cute and they look incredible and not to mention they are all just fierce queens as well so if people are going to send hate because it was a double win I can understand it but it is what it is you can't do anything about it it's a reality TV show and they just are just adding more layers to it each year and adding extra gags so I'm just like you can't keep up with it so you never know what they're going to do and this is something that they've never done before so it was bound to happen eventually. To be honest, top two of the week is between Trinity the Tuck's Super Queen look and Trinity the Tuck's Runway look. Like, I'm so, so impressed with both. I don't even know if I want to pick because they are different themes for different looks. She is just incredible. Top two of the week is Trinity the Tuck, my winner after episode eight. So I'm so, so proud. Season nine all the way and she's so, so deserving. Like $100,000, money exchange, $100,000. $200,000 you are gonna bankrupt yourself through. Probably not though so keep them coming and just it's it's so incredible but I'm so so proud of all of these queens for all the incredible looks that they've done and Trinity the Tuck has been serving looks all season and Monet has stepped her looks up as well so is Monique and Naomi Smalls killing it serving legs all the time so I'm so so impressed top two of the week for this final toot and boot of All Stars 4 goes to Trinity the Tuck so that's pretty much it for this video, hope you guys all enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, if you did, let me know in the comments below who are your top toots and 
what was your favourite looks and what weren't such good looks. I don't know, like, there's some good looks, but for finales, it's a bit like, mmm, maybe not so. And stay tuned because I have plenty more videos coming out. I have an outtakes and bloopers video coming next week and a deleted scenes, which has some extra clips from All Stars 4 that I didn't include. And then, of course, we're going to move straight on to season 11. So I am, like, so excited to see what's going on. I don't even know. I haven't seen any of the queens yet because I like to wait until they walk into the workroom. So I'm going to wait for episode one, although I know Miss Banji's back. So it's like, oh, here we go. We are ready for a full spring period of season 11. So thank you all for watching and I will see you very soon. And congratulations to Monet Exchange and Trinity the Tug on being the double crowned winners of All Stars 4. Oh, clue. So I will see you very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys. Monet Exchange, Trinity the Tuck. Top two, please, please. Congratulations, you are the top two all-stars of the season. <gasps> Serving Puss in Boots, Kitty Cat, Realness. Oh my God, I live, I love. This was absolutely incredible. Her best look of all time.